Hey, GetFax here with some head-to-head -head gameplay, and I'm going to talk about the dynamic rookie sets, the rookie premiere sets, and the ones that you want to put together. Now, if you follow my blog or my Twitter account and see every single tweet I do, you will see I posted this there a couple days back. Actually, Monday I put this up. But So basically, right now I'm just going to go through the players. Um, so if, if you've read the blog, I'll link it in the description. You can go ahead and skip this video because it's going to be the same content I put out right there as he gets a nice fourth down. So... First off, we'll, we'll go through the quarterbacks, on down to the halfbacks, wide receivers, and so on. Uh, Jared Goff's up first. Now, if you want a quarterback next year, and I know, you know, having the number one quarterback uh, draft is really cool, um, he will be the starter for the Rams. They invested a lot into him. They've tried to revamp their offensive scheme there, their um, passing scheme, which is good. Uh, but I, I don't know if I'd invest a ton into a rookie quarterback. You, you know, what kind of production can you see? Even Ben Roethlisberger. Probably the most successful rookie quarterback of all time, or at least close to it, only really did okay. And then he had very limited reads that year that he went 15, or he went undefeated there, 15-1 in the playoffs. He got that loss. But, uh, so yeah, I gave him a 3 out of 5, with 5 being the best for Goff. If you want to put him together, he'll probably face some risks early on, and I don't know how much he'll improve through the year. Uh, Wentz, I think, is a really bad play. Um, I would give him a one. He's a third quarterback in Philadelphia, even though maybe Philly might trade one of them or Bradford will get hurt. But they got Chase Daniel, probably the, Chase Daniel, the highest paid backup in the league. Uh, and it's actually paid a lot better than some starters in the league. Ezekiel Elliott, so I gave Wentz a one. Ezekiel Elliott's rating of a five. You know, I heard he's trying to get blackmailed by his girlfriend. Um, we'll see if that works out. You know, McFadden got that injured elbow from dropping a phone, uh, trying to stop it from falling. So Ezekiel, that's the starter and looking like a really good bet next year to be one of the top. He'll probably be similar to, what do you think, what do you think will be a comparable? He's one of the top, what, 5, 10 fantasy running backs? Do you think he'll have a, you know, Adrian Peterson type year? Or do you think he'll be kind of more like a, you know, number 5 overall back? Either way, I think it's a good bet. He's expensive right now, but probably one of the top players to get. Derrick Henry, halfback. You know, he's sitting behind DeMarco Murray at the moment, and Tennessee's offensive line's terrible. It's not the Cowboys' offensive line, that's for sure. So I gave him a two. I don't I don't love that. I don't love um, both the backup role and the offensive line there. So Corey Coleman, wide receiver. He's fast, but he's short. He's going to get a lot of targets in Cleveland. You know, 5'11", ain't great for Madden. Um, but the fact that, you know, in Madden 16, his card has 99 speed. So his starting speed uh, next year in much would be like 93. That's valuable. Because he ran like a 4-3-7 at his pro day. So, I give it a 3. I'd expect him to be good early wide receiver, but his ratings won't really improve too much through the year. Braxton Miller's next up. I think he's worse off here than Coleman was because I don't think he's going to get a ton of targets in Houston. Being a rookie receiver, drafted not too early. Um, so, I, I really don't think something. this is somebody you should uh, be looking that's going to improve through the year. But, you know, early on, he might be pretty good. A uh, nice one-handed spec catch by his team. Uh, Laquan Treadwell. He's slow. He's terrible, man. Really slow. I had some arguments here. People said that he'll be decent early on when speed doesn't matter. Speed matters more every time of year. Speed is the most OP stat in Madden for wide receivers, DBs, running backs, and linebackers, and so on. Safeties. I said DBs, not just DBs. But anyways, um, so Laquan Treadwell, I, will, I would not recommend putting him together no matter how much you think he is. You know, slow wide receivers, you can make it work if they're slow and they have good run blocking, but his Madden 16 card only has 58 run blocking on a 95 overall. So I wouldn't expect it uh, to be much better for 17. Hunter Henry, tight end. Um, you know, he's backing up Gates, the legend right now in San Diego, but he's got great athleticism. Do I think Hunter can overtake that uh, and be a great and get some great upgrades through the year? Um, Antonio could get hurt potentially, but Hunter's not a great run blocker. And I guess if you have a spread scheme, maybe he's good. Uh, he'll be good early for you. But I, I, don't, I, I guess his production He's got a heck of a lot of talent there. I don't know. I give him a 2 out of 5. I, I don't have a ton of trust in him to produce. Ronnie Ronnie Stanley, left tackle. I, I rated him about 4. I know he's coming into the Ravens, who has who have had some of the best offensive linemen in the league for many years now. I mean, they they just turn him out, it seems. You know, they lost uh, Kalichi over the uh, offseason here, but they have the best right side, so him holding down the left side... I. I would give him as much chance as any rookie to succeed. I give him a four here because one again, do you want to invest in offensive tackles? 
especially one you know that don't really grade up stats so who knows how they'll play um, and offensive tackles don't have the greatest history coming out of the draft recently so Laramie Tunzel I can make a ton of jokes about him taking money I did on the blog read the blog for jokes I'm not really repeating them because I feel like that's just redoing the content again so if you want the jokes that I make check out that blog I'm gonna be doing it a lot more in 17 uh, but Miami had a bad old line last year he's moving to guard from tackle don't love it. I'm giving it a two because, you know, again, don't invest in offensive linemen in Madden until it's proven that they can actually work. Nice pick again by him. All right, DeForest Bunkner, a left end, a 3 4 end, moving to a team he'll retire from. Probably in a few years due to concussion uh, worries. JK, I, I, I'm not going to make uh, any more jokes because I'm bad at them. All right, I give him a three because you never know how many stats. He's not going to put up like J.J. Watt numbers. I don't think he'll improve a ton through the year. You know, he could, and, and I could be proved wrong. Like I, It's always good to go against what I say because I'm usually wrong. So I gave him a three out of five. Joey Bosa, I also gave a three out of five. He's more of a four-three end. San Diego's kind of like a a decent, I don't know. Do you think he's a good, for, usually they run a three-four, but they, they do mix up their defensive front time to time. So. Bosa, I think, is a solid, solid as good as any uh, defensive lineman to pick up some good stats as a rookie. All right, Clenny Clark, i got to speed it up here. The game's almost over. Uh, Clark's the number two in Green Bay. I don't expect any production out of a Green Bay defensive tackle. I uh, give him a one. Sheldon Rankins is in a much better situation as he's the starter. Drafted higher, more talent. Rating four. Leonard Floyd, he's tall. I love him early as a user, but I don't expect him to get a ton of um, production through the year. So I give him a three. Darren Lee, he'll be fast. Fast, fast, fast. Will he be as fast as um, other early users like Shazier or Barr? Will he be as good as them? I don't know. I gave him a four, though, to put together. And that's we just bust through for the touchdown. Nice work there. All right, Shaq Lawson, right outside linebacker. Uh, injured, won't be back till November. Rexwell Ryan uh, turned one of the best pass rushers of our generation and made him average. Negative sideways eight, negative infinity. Jalen Ramsey, best chance, best corner. Eli Apple, Faster than Ramsey, but maybe not as high as ceiling to get improved through the year. I gave him a four. And Carl Joseph uh, in Oakland there. I think he's going to be, he's coming off an ACL tear, but I think he's going to be hard-hitting. He's a little short for DB, so I only gave him a three. That's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.